let's get started working on the skill of adding two fractions. So we want to evaluate one-fifth plus one-fifth equals what? Now, before we start adding the fractions, let's review the parts of a fraction. So we're going to use this first one, a one-fifth. A fraction has two parts. It has a top and a bottom, separated by your fraction bar. The top has a name called the numerator, and the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. They both have different meanings. The top of the fraction, or the numerator, tells me how many pieces do I have, and the denominator tells me how many pieces make up a whole. So another way that we can talk about fractions is by saying a part over the whole. What part do we have over the whole thing? So let's look at this with a picture. Let's say I have a pizza. And that pizza has five pieces. According to this fraction, the whole is five. Let's say I have the whole pizza. But really, I only have one of those pieces left over. So I have one out of a total five. So when we're trying to add two fractions together, we need to only add the parts. Because the whole doesn't change, the whole is still going to be out of five. So it's like saying I have this pizza is one-fifth, one piece out of five total pieces, and then I'm going to have another piece of pizza, or another whole pizza, I'm sorry, that has five pieces, and that also has one-fifth. So all together, I would have two-fifths. The numerator changed, but the denominator stayed the same. We need to keep in mind that we can only add fractions when the denominators are the same. Because let's say I had a piece of I had a pizza that was split up into eight pieces. The size of a fifth is much bigger than the size of a little eight. So you always want the whole to be the same, and you're just going to add the parts. So we did one-fifth plus one-fifth gave us a total of two-fifths. Now, if we didn't have a, fraction, or a picture, we would just do one plus one equals two and keep the denominator the same. So one-fifth plus one-fifth is going to be two-fifths. two-sixths plus two-sixths. We see that our denominator is the same, so we're going to add our numerators together. Two plus two is equal to four. That would mean that my answer is four-sixths. But there's one more thing that we need to think about. Is this fraction in its simplest form? And I'm going to tell you, this one is not in its simplest form because both 4 and 6 are even numbers. That means they can both be divided by 2. So fractions need to always be in its simplest form. So we're going to divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2 to give us 2 over 3. 4 6 was not the wrong answer. All of our work was still correct. It just wasn't quite done. And in math, we have to make sure that the problem is completely finished so that we get it 100% correct. So 4 6 is, is right, but 2 thirds is it simplified. Two sixths plus one sixth. Our denominators are the same, so we're going to add our numerators 
2 plus 1 is equal to 3, which gives me an answer of 3 6. Do we need to simplify? Well, if I were to draw myself a pizza and I were to have it in six pieces, and I have three of them, doesn't that look like half the pizza? It sure is. Three sixths and one half are equivalent fractions. And we didn't have to draw the picture to see that. We could have seen that three and six can both be divided by three. Three divided by three gives me the one, and six divided by three gives me the two. So we always need to check, do my numerator and denominator, do they have any numbers in common? These both had a three. So the answer to two six plus one six is one half. One six plus four six. Our denominators are the same, so we're gonna add one plus four to give us five sixths. Five and six do not have any factors in common, so that is our final answer. Three fifths plus one fifth. Denominators are the same. Three plus one is four fifths. Four and fifths, four and five do not have anything in common. So our answer is four fifths. Two fifths plus one fifth. Our denominators are the same, so we're gonna add two plus one to get three fifths. And I see that that is part of our one of our choices. Two fourths plus one fourth. We have the fourths in common in the denominator. We're gonna add two plus one to give us three fourths. One sixth plus three sixth. Add those numerators together. One plus three is four over six. Hmm, but that's not an answer choice. Two sevenths, one ninth, two thirds, and five ninths. Did we do our work correctly? We kept our denominators the same, so that part's correct. And one plus three is four, so that must mean we need to simplify. Both four and six have a factor of two, so we can divide the top and the bottom by two, which gives us two thirds, which is one of our answer choices. Just because an answer choice isn't there doesn't mean you did it wrong. Always check and ask yourself, can I simplify my answer? One fourth plus two fourths. Denominators are the same. We're gonna add one plus two to give us three fourths. And we've got that answer choice. One fifth plus one fifth. Our denominators are the same. And one plus one equals two. So our final answer is two fifths.